What is up, party people? Today, we are talking about confidence. How can you be a more confident person, have more engaging, confident conversations? And sort of what I did to like get to where I am today as far as confidence. Let's get right into it. All right, so I got asked this question by Sarah Wright on Instagram, and I thought to myself, probably would be a good thing to share. I get this question asked a bunch, so uh, I asked her to send me in a video, and here it is. Hi, Cole, my name is Sarah, and I love your work. I always look forward to seeing all of the new Glambot videos after award shows. Um, something that I would love advice from you on is confidence. You obviously meet new people all the time. People come up to you and want a video from you and you're able to hold such great conversations with them. Um, my question is, was this a skill you always had or is it something that you had to improve over time? Any tips on how to be more outgoing, confidence, things like that? Thank you. All right, Sarah, well, thank you for sending me in that question. That was super awesome. Um, and to answer the first part of your question, no, I was definitely not sort of the way I am uh, all the time. I was actually quite shy growing up, um, and especially when I moved to California and, and to LA, I was super shy because I was like coming into this huge industry and I was like this kid from Vancouver and I was like, I don't, you know, I didn't know where my place was. When I met people that were really uh, outgoing and really engaging, I gravitated towards them. I loved being around outgoing and engaging people. And what that did was like inspire me to want to be like that. I think their one big misconception is that we are how we are and there's no changing. Now, I do believe that people cannot change you, but you sure damn well can change yourself. And I, I'm a prime example of that. I, I was shy and reserved, and I was like, I wanna be more outgoing, and I wanna be more engaging with people, and I've definitely worked at that. It's a thing that I've put, actively put in effort. I remember when I, when I first moved to LA, I, I was in my first apartment, I was reading some article on how to be more outgoing. And uh, they started, there was like steps, and I remember the very first step was like, smile at three people in the grocery store. And I think that you find by and large is that people just smile back and they're nice back. Like, and I, I think it's important to recognize too, it's like whenever you've been out and someone randomly smiles at you, like puts you in a good mood. And you're like, oh, that person was so nice. Like I liked, they smiled at me, that they're, they're happy, now I'm happy. When you receive that same thing, it's positive and good. So you should feel good and or confident about doing that same thing. Uh, the next step in that thing was to say hi to strangers, and I was mortified at this at first. It was very difficult, I'm not gonna lie. And I think it took me a number of trips to the grocery store to finally do, but it's a great thing uh, to practice. Like, when you go to a restaurant and you meet the host, uh, you can just ask them how the day's going. Just start a little conversation. You get practice with these little conversations instead of just going like, oh, table for three, okay, yeah, thanks. Just say, hey, how, how, how's the day going? How are you doing? What's going on? I think there's also a lot of comfort in knowing that you probably feel the exact same way as everybody else. So, you know, everybody has generally an inherent sense of insecurity and anxiety about social interactions and, and, and their appearance and how people are perceived. And so I think it's comforting for me to know that everybody's worried about the same thing, so I'm best to just not worry about it. When I meet people for a glam bot, uh, doing, everybody I've met seems super confident and super excited and happy to be there, right? But I'm sure a couple people were nervous, right? Uh, like they wanted to make sure they looked good, they wanted to get a good one, they just wanted to make sure they had cool stuff to promote whatever they're there promoting. And so there could have been a lot of pressure on, on a variety of people that have done it. But for me, I would have never have known. But if they let that stuff out, I would have probably picked up on it and recognized it and done what I could to appease it. Letting that stuff take control of your mannerisms and your actions is only detrimental to you sort of succeeding in your day. So I think it's best to recognize them but keep them at bay and don't let those things sort of creep up and uh, interject in your day. All right, so to summarize my three tips on being more confident, you are not inherently who you are. That sounds really weird, that's a bad way to put it. But basically what I'm saying is you can change. If you wanna be more outgoing, you wanna be more confident, you can change and you can become that person. Uh, two, to do that you have to actively work on it. So go out and practice having small conversations. Make eye contact, smile at people. Just go out and put out good vibes and then feel confident about the good vibes you're putting out. This has a profound effect on both you and the person you're interacting with, so I highly recommend it. 
And the third tip is uh, nobody really knows how confident or how insecure you are inside. So if you are feeling a little insecure or have a bit of anxiety, just try your best to not let that rampantly control your uh, mannerisms. There's a, a saying in the dance world, fake it till you make it. So it's like, do your best. Don't let, let on that you don't know what's happening. You don't know what's going on. And uh, that actually will be a thing to yield the result you want. So those are my sort of three tips. I've definitely been practicing it over the years. Uh, thank you, Sarah, for the question. If you guys want to do more Q&A stuff, uh, just ask questions below. Uh, but anyway, subscribe. Plenty more stuff coming. Smash, smash, smash the bell. I people, smash the bell. Do the thing. Uh, anyways, thanks for watching. I will see you next time. All right, peace.